Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and today we have an episode of Not So Berry. Today is going to be a jam-packed episode because we have so much to do. Um, we need to get ready for this incoming baby and get ready for Grey Gen coming in. And I, th- I was thinking that we need to get a new house because the house we have right now is too small for a baby. So I have downloaded the real estate mod because I don't know. I just want her to use it. I think it will be cool to use that mod. I've never used it before. So I'm going to look into it. I was also thinking that I want her to have twins because I feel like this is going to be her only pregnancy. So I want to make sure we can have all the babies we can possibly have right now. And I also want to adopt a baby, but not this episode. But uh, somebody commented under the first episode that we should adopt kids. And I agree. I see Sunny adopting children and level seven fitness. Thank goodness. I'm trying to work on the skill before she enters trimester two. She's currently in her first trimester. She has 12 hours before her second. So we have some time. The way I'm going to try to get her to have twins is getting fertility massages. I think you can watch the children's network as well on TV to get twins. And I think listen to kids radio. I think you can do that as well. I don't know. I'm going to try all that because I want her to have twins and we already are pregnant with IVF treatment. So that's all set. It's just trying to get them to actually be twins. It's, it's going to be the hard part. She needs to shower and use the bathroom. Right now, she's like super happy. Oh, we have to set up her bills because she doesn't have bills because I also got the bills mod as well. And I think this is all by SMB. Look how messy she looks. All right, let's get these bills settled though. I'm hoping to have babies slash babies this episode. So, oh, I didn't mean to call the bank. She doesn't need the bank. She needs bills. Let's just get her the premium. Oh, look at Wolfie. All right, let's take a brisk shower. She's in a really good mood too. So maybe after our shower, we can head out to a spa and do like a massage. She's not going to work at all this episode. I don't think because she's off until Monday and it's now Friday. And by then we should have the baby. So yeah, we're going to have to get a move on it. We have to do everything really quickly because we need to pack up this house, find a new house, set up the baby's room, hopefully have twins, get an ultrasound, work on some skills. Like it's a lot to do in so little time. Sunny, you got a lot to do. Let's go and be nice to her dogs because I don't want another dog to run away. Last episode, Wolfie ran away and that was too much. So we're going to play around with the puppies before we leave. We can become companions with Wolfie. Yes, let's do that. Wolfie is so extra, I swear. Let's give her a treat as well. Aw, so cute. They're becoming companions. She's like, don't run away again. And then we're going to give her a treat. Oh, this episode, we're supposed to be getting Sunny and her dad married. Or not Sunny and her dad. Whoa. (laughs) Cherry and her dad married. But we have so much to do with the baby that I don't think we're gonna do that. And she keeps wanting to juggle the soccer ball. And I'm not too mad at it because we can like use all that fitness skill we can get, but like, girl, you're not even wearing the right outfit. And we also need to go and do a, um, like a treatment, not a treatment, but like a ah, massage. That. So that way you can increase her chance of having oh, twins. Me. So. Oh, look at her about to throw up. Let's head out to the spa. I'm going to find a spa. Hopefully there's a spa somewhere in this world. Um, And then we can get a fertility massage and hopefully increase the chance of twins. All right, we're here at the spa and it's a spa here in Newcrest. I'm turning this off. It's, can I not turn it off? It's so loud. Um, But we're in a spa in Newcrest and she wants to get a massage, but it's not letting her. I can hire a massage therapist. There's a massage therapist here. Why do I have to hire one? Okay, request service. Yeah, okay, get the fertility massage. It's 380 simoleons. I have never done this, but I really want her to have twins. And this music is so loud, and I don't like the music, so. We're gonna hurry up and get this massage. She's hungry too. She came here with Rowan, but I have no idea where he is. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. He might have left, but that's fine. She prefers to be on her own anyway. Can you not do the fertility massage? Hello? If he doesn't give us one, I already requested one. 
Okay, you keep taking my money, but you can't. Okay, I'm not dealing with this. Just gonna delete all these. All right, let's see now if he can give us the fertility massage. And I'm giving myself the money back because... All right, please give us the massage. Okay, finally. Hopefully this increases the chance of her having twins. This looks so relaxing though. I never get massages in The Sims and like, it's honestly a good animation, I'm not gonna lie, but and it's it looks really relaxing and Sunny deserves this. She worked so hard in school. Now she's starting her family. Tomorrow we have to go look at houses and get the ultrasound. So right now she's trying to relax and have a nice peaceful time before the birth of hopefully twins. Hopefully. I'm really like hoping twins. Maybe we should get her a foot massage as well because she's pregnant. And Amber can give us a foot massage. I still don't know what I'm naming. Like, like I know what I, I have an idea what I want to name the twins if we have twins. And it's like the most generic gray names ever, but I couldn't think of a name and I wasn't left any. So then I couldn't think. So I have the names in mind. I'm hoping we have like a boy and a girl because the names I have fit like a boy and a girl. So we'll see what we're having. Either way, I'm hoping for a girl. If she doesn't have girl this time, I might get her pregnant again through IVF and, an, and another adoption. So she might end up having like four kids. And that's if she has twins this time, but we'll see. But let's see, hopefully this increases her chance of having twins. Oh, she did not like that massage though. Her stomach looks a little bigger, so hopefully it worked, I don't know. She's gonna go in here though and get her foot massaged. Cause you know, being pregnant, her feet hurt. She wants to also eat food, but I think she's gonna head home after this. Like, you know, Sunny, she does not like being around people. So we might head home. Plus tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Tomorrow's the day when we're gonna be like getting the ultrasound and hopefully finding out if it's twins. Uh, is she sticking her feet through somebody else's feet or leg? And this girl's just like standing there like we're not here. I was gonna say, can you move? Oh, she's pretty though. She's so pretty. What's her name? Courtney? She's actually cute. Um, but yeah, I think tomorrow's the day we're gonna like be super busy. So today was a short day, but I really just wanted to get this massage before her second trimester, which I think she's in now. She's still sad. I think it was Elsa that passed away, but it was an uncomfortable massage. Hopefully it works. This is increasing. So hopefully it did go into twins. This girl's hurting her too. None of them know how to give massages. Wait, hold on. Actually, no, she said this one was a good one, even though it looked like it hurt. Oh, why is this girl crying? This girl's probably like, I did a terrible job. She was screaming the whole time. And now she's coming in here to go play soccer. Like, girl, figure yourself out. I think, though, we're going to head home and I'll pick back up in the morning because, like I said, I want to get the ultrasound down first. And then we're going to hire a realtor and start looking at some properties so she can buy a house, which is so exciting. Um, but yeah, we'll pick back up in the morning. All right, we're up and we are working on a rocket in her pajamas. Um, she already did one upgrade on the rocket. Oh, goodness. And she still needs to do four more upgrades. I think I'm gonna do four more before we ever like go to space on our own. But yeah, she's up, it's early. After this, she's gonna work on cooking and then we're going to hire that realtor so we can, you know, look for a house to move to. She's going to end up needing to take out a loan most likely as well. Oh, she already finished a second upgrade. Nice. So after she cook, let's hire a realtor. Are you playing Daisy? Like, you're kidding me. Like, look how gross she is. I just, I can't take her serious. And look at Wolfie being the good little doggy and like sleeping on the couch. It's going to be so weird having kids around, especially when those kids turn to toddlers. Oh, it's going to be a lot of work. Oh, she's already such a good cook. What level is she at? Level eight already? Jeez, I didn't even know that. And it's almost level nine. She's almost level eight logic too, which she needed for her job, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But look how dirty Daisy is in the background. Like, look at her. Or him. Crazy. Something is definitely... Are you sick or something? Like, what is wrong with Wolfie? Can figure out. Like, are you sick? Because I would just give you a treat. Oh, and we are level nine cooking already. That's crazy. Aw, aw, Wolfie's just sad. You want some of my food, Wolfie? But she is calling the realtor, so hopefully they come. I've never used this mod before, so we're, it's gonna be like a learning thing for all of us. 
Oh, you get to select the realtor. Damien has a 35 years experience. You look so young. I want low commission. Wait, it says choose wisely as this would deeply affect your real estate business. Oh no. Okay, then we need someone with a high rating, but low commission. I think Carly would be good. Carly Castle, 15 years and a 2.69 commission. Ooh, but Sonia is 5.17% commission, but five stars and more experience. We're gonna do Carly. Yes, hire Carly. Let's see how this works. Realtor hired. Why do I have a bowl in my hand? Congratulations, you hired Carly as your realtor. A realtor will help you buy. Oh my goodness, what what is this sound coming from? A realtor will help you buy, sell, or rent or property. They will be of service across all your real estate endeavors by giving valuable insight. A good realtor will make your real estate transactions flow smoothly. Okay, good. Now I can make an appointment with her. And Daisy finally learned not to play in puddles. That's what that sound was. Let's check house listings. Oh, our realtor has to provide us with house listings. Okay, so let's make an appointment with her. This mod is so in-depth. Okay, make an appointment. Her dad's at the door. Is he an elder yet? No, he's still an adult. Okay, so we do have time. So we don't have to get them married yet. But her dad is going to want to know. Oh, he is engaged. So we can congratulate him. That's perfect then. We don't have to get them engaged. We can just do their wedding. I'm on my way. Look forward to doing business. Okay, good. So Carly's on her way. We're like, Ma, you're engaged to mom. Like, that's so cool. Finally, you guys are getting married. We can enthuse about the wedding. Well, we can ask to be his sim of honor. I think she would want to be her mom's sim of honor, though. We can ask for invitation. He's going to be like, of course, you're invited. Like, you're our daughter, but still. I think next episode will be the wedding episode. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, her dad is so, so cute. Can we announce our pregnancy, though? It is New Year's. I almost forgot about that. I don't know what we should do about New Year's, though. Yeah, I want to invite him to fill the baby. Bizarre. You're about to be a grandpa. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, that scared me. The camera jumped to the realtor arriving. But look, we're pregnant. Aww, so cute. Okay, during this appointment, you can set house wish list, manage rental properties, blah, blah, blah. Fire realtor. I just want her to find me property, okay? Let's give her a polite introduction. And she's going through a sad mood swing, that's funny. But we're like, hello, Carly. They had good sentiments. Oh, maybe we can have a friend out of her. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay, let's set house wish list. Okay, the value ring. I feel like we're gonna get a loan anyway. And we need, I don't wanna move multiple times. So I need a house that's big enough for all the children we plan on having. We're gonna hope we're having twins. I see Sunny having three to four kids, okay? So we need like a bigger house. I think I'm gonna do actually like 200,000 because we have a few, like we have 20,000, but we also have the value of this home and we're gonna get a home loan. So I think that's good. And the world would be Oasis Spring. Um, and maybe Strangerville. Those are like the only two worlds that she'll actually live in. Um, lot traits. I feel like they can have any lot traits. I think that's fine. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do, Sunny. I'll get back to you in a couple of days. Okay, perfect. That is perfect. But our babies will get here or our baby will get here before you get back to us, which I'm nervous about. I was going to give Daisy a bath, but Daisy's asleep. So I think we're going to go do the ultrasound. And since her dad is here, maybe her dad will go with her. I can see her mom not going because her mom is just like her mom. Her mom is something else. If you were here for last gen, you know that. So let's just, just go with her dad. So let's visit the gynecologist and we'll go with her dad. I mean, since her dad is here, is he actually going to go? If he stays here, it's just ruining the immersion of it all. I think her dad actually went. He like disappeared off the lot. But after we come back, we need to give Daisy a bath and something with a rock. Yeah, we can upgrade to do the... I thought she did that one already, but I guess not. All right, she went to the appointment in her pajamas. Maybe it's going to be a pajama day. Maybe we won't go out then for New Year's. Maybe she'll just like settle in and get ready for this incoming baby slash babies. But we're going to find out right now if it's multiples, which I'm so excited about. Please, I'm begging. 
I'm begging for multiples. Yes. Okay, yes. The patient named above is pregnant with twins. It will most likely be one boy and one girl. Yes, so she is having twins. I'm not going to put that out now because we are going to end up moving sooner rather than later. So I won't put that up. But we're going to go end the appointment because our realtor is still here. And then we're going to give Daisy a bath and then work on this rocket. All right, we're about to be level 10 rocket science, which is crazy. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, which is crazy. Episode three, and we're already rocket science level 10. But we still have the handiness skill we need to work on. I want to work on the robotic skills for this generation as well. So we still have things to do. We still have the logic skill for her job, fitness for her job. Robotics were level six, though. Not bad. In. Robotics is not a part of the challenge, but that's just more me. And yeah. Okay. But she's getting tired. It is New Year's. So I, I want to go in, though, and give Wolfie a treat because I do think Wolfie is sick just because Wolfie has been like walking around sad. Wolfie doesn't look sick, though, but I don't know like what's wrong with Wolfie, but something's off. So I'm going to give Wolfie a vet treat and hopefully it helps. And then we can do a New Year's resolution and then maybe take a nap before the countdown. I really feel like she's just nesting at this point. I do believe she is in trimester three as well. We can check. But I wanted her to make her resolution and not get a significant other. Maybe get promoted because I've, she's ambitious. So I can see her wanting to get promoted. But let's give Wolfie a vet treat and see if that helps. Did it help? No, something is just wrong with Wolfie. I don't know what it is. Let's try to play with Wolfie. I, I know I said I'll go to sleep. I know this one needs a, to go on a walk. This one, Daisy. I have no idea what's wrong with Wolfie. But we're going to take a nap before the countdown. All right, it's already 11. So let's get up and watch the countdown to midnight. And then we got to take Daisy on this walk. And maybe Wolfie needs to go potty. I don't know. Aw, she's doing the countdown all on her own, but this is really yellow, Jen. She likes to be on her own, so I guess this is fine by her. And was that what you needed, Wolfie, was to go potty? You don't know how to go potty on your own already? I don't know. I could have swore these dogs do, but Daisy's begging for a walk. Like, look at her or him. We'll do it after the countdown. But soon, you don't have to be bringing in the New Year's on your own. You get to bring it in with your baby. I can tell you guys the names now, now that we know it's a boy and a girl. Um, for the boy, it's going to be Grayson. Duh, it's Gray Jen. And then for the girl, it's going to be Grayley. Um, I don't know. I couldn't think of a gray name for a girl. But I feel like Grayson and Grayley go together, especially for twins. So, yeah. Does she she's just going through a terrible time. She stepped in pet poop. She is hungry and tired and she is in her third trimester and she can give yeah. birth at any moment now yeah because she gives birth in question mark question my mark so what i will do is pick back up in the morning hopefully we can hear from our real oh my goodness she's so extra hopefully we'll hear from our realtor's property and look into that i wanted to do that this episode but the mod may be like one that takes a while to find a property so we'll see anyway we're going to pick back up in the morning when she is up and ready to get started for her day. All right, so she's in labor. I originally got a call and it said like that the listings were open and we can go to the listings. But then my computer shut down and it wasn't like the game or anything. It's just because I'm stupid and I accidentally <laughs> unplugged oops, my computer while recording. So I don't even think I have the footage of when we were trying to go look at the houses but it literally just like shut down in the middle of recording that so then i had to go and replay all of this episode so there may be things that are off but she is having twins um and she is in labor and it is a boy and a girl <laughs> and i did still get her rocket science up to level 10 there may be other things that are slightly off i think i made her and wolfie companions still too um, but some of her skills may be off from last episode or not last episode, but from earlier on in this episode, just because of my mistake, but she is in labor and she's in an okay mood. I was going to have her go and like observe space after she's done updating this rocket, but oh my goodness, she's in labor, but I don't think she's going to, I don't think she would have the baby at the hospital. I'm just lazy when it comes to having the baby at the hospital. I'm being honest. So I think we're going to have a home birth. I'm kind of sad, though, because I wanted her to start looking at properties before she gave birth. And 
It did. Like, I got the call when I was recording at, like, 5 p.m. today to go look at properties. And then we were heading off to look at the properties. And then I unplugged my computer on accident with my foot. But I thought I was going to get the call again today because I did set up the realtor appointment and the wish list and all that around the same time I did it last time. But it didn't work. So here we are. Um, so I guess she's going to give birth herself here at home. Yeah, just because I want her to work on this. Um, so, yeah, no, we can stop doing that, though, because I think you should go and look at space. We haven't been doing that. Why is Daisy sleep on the rocket pad? Like, Daisy always wants to be up under us. It's so cute. But she's huge. She's going to have the twins. I'm so excited. But I'm going to let her just, like, drag it out until... Oh, and she's level 8 logic. Wow, already. Look at you go. And I don't even think logic's, like, a part of her generation i do know though it is a part of her aspiration i think looking at the next level yeah because she needs a level 10 logic skill so thank goodness i've been working on it and she needs to fix or upgrade five objects so we're gonna do that as well but i want to work on the rocket before i do all of that oh is she having the baby out here she is okay the first baby is the girl the girl was first and the name i'm gonna do for her is Grayley because I'm so unoriginal and I don't have a name for this baby. If you have a different name you want me to do, we can change it. But the baby's name is going to be Grayley and I think I'm just going to call her Lee or Lily. I like Lily. We're going to call her Lily. Um, so Grayley or Lily oh. is the girl and the boy is going to be Grayson. Or should I do Grayson with an E because Grayley has... Let's just do Grayson, Barry... I'm so unoriginal when it comes to these names, but I couldn't think of any other name for Grey Jen. If you have better names, we honestly are probably going to adopt this generation. So yeah, but the twins are here. They're here and we have no room to put the baby. One of them are like floating. The boy. Okay. I, I have no room for these babies or anything like that. Um, Grayly is crying, so we got to feed her and then we got to bring her inside. I'm going to go in and use the bathroom. I'm hoping that tomorrow is when we'll get a call from our realtor. I would like to end this episode looking at properties, maybe look at like three different houses and do some home tours. And then you guys can let me know which house you want us to get. I think I like that idea. So I think I'm going to pick back up in the morning when we are getting a call. We should get a call tomorrow morning from our realtor. Like we really should. So I think I'm going to pick back up in the morning with the twins when do they age up because i feel like i haven't been playing for long oh they age up on tuesday i might age them up because i want to see what they look like i forgot who their dad was i know they got a donor for their dad but i honestly forgot what their dad looks like so it's gonna be interesting to see them depending on when we get the call for the the realtor i'll let you guys know when we pick back up if i'm gonna play until we age them up which i kind of do want to do just because I really want to see them. All right, it's the next day. I forgot Sunny had work today and that it was Monday. So we got we got through most of today, which I love. We need to lecture Daisy about barking. Desiree wants to go to the festival. No, we need to change Lily's diaper. And it's just like a lot. It's a lot. Oh, but she became good friends with Grayson. I think that's so cool. And we did get a call from our realtor. Okay, Lily, we're changing your diaper now, okay? Stop being dramatic. We did get a call from the realtor, though. So we can go look at houses, which I'm so excited about. So we're going to end today's episode off with going to look at houses. Yeah. And then I think next episode we'll age up the twins. Or I might age them up before next episode. Just because I can't wait. I'm like, they're just babies and it's boring. But we can check the house listings. Yeah, we're looking for big houses. So there's a house that's four bedrooms in Oasis Springs. There is a two bedroom house in Oasis Springs, but we need more room. There's a trailer. No. There's some places in Strangerville. So we might end up moving to Strangerville because it doesn't seem like there is a lot of property in Oasis Springs that fits like what we need. So we'll check out the houses that I selected, but I'm excited because it's my first time using this mod. So let's go to these house listings. All right, we're at house one with our realtor. This is the only house that we have that is like in Oasis Springs. 
but it's here in Oasis Springs. They said that they'll open the door. Come in on in Sunny Dawn. Look around and tell me what you think of the place. If you like you what you see, add house to shortlist. Okay, so this is the house. We're going to get it like completely unfurnished, but she's probably happy that like, oh, we can appraise objects. I didn't even see this, the home tour over here, but she's probably happy that they have like a yellow, a lot of yellow. If we buy this house, we're going to buy it like completely unfurnished and redo the whole thing. But it looks like it's big enough for a family. It's in Oasis Springs where she wanted it to be. Let me look at the outside of it. We wouldn't have to do that much painting. There's a lot of gray. There's some yellow, which fits with the generation, but we probably would like repaint the house to be more yellow, but it doesn't look bad on the outside. Um, this is the front door. It looks like a mid-century home. I love that I'm like acting like this is like HDTV, but really it is. Oh my goodness, there's yellow everywhere, which I really like. But there's a room here that is huge. The rooms are huge here. There's a bathroom over here. I probably would make like a Lily and Gray sin's room over here because there's two rooms in a bathroom and this over here might be like her office and her room because it leads to the back as well and then it's a lot of room in the backyard i might not keep everything back here especially why is she playing video games like girl you should be appraising things uh, what would stay here if like maybe appraise like bathroom item and see if it's worth it and like the kitchen and see like what appliances they take and then i don't know where our realtor went oh she's right here because we need to ask her ask her about the appraised value of the home but i like the home i think it's big enough it's a little bit of a different shape than i would want because it's so long i mean i like it because it's not two floors but when you enter, like, you have to go all the way over here to get to the living area. And I kind of like, like, entering on an open floor plan. But I feel like we can make it work. I wouldn't have to change much about this house. I would just have to, like, basically furnish it. But it's a cute home. I like it. I like the features it has. So we're going to ask her about the value of the home. Oh, okay. After careful evaluation, the roomie's new house has been found to be valued at 212000 or... 87,000 if unfurnished so we wouldn't have to get that much of a loan this is the value that will be used by real estate transaction until another evaluation has been made um okay that looks good and then we're gonna add this house to the short list and then i want to go to the next house yes i was gonna say i want to continue but this app is so uh, not this app but this mod is so good like it makes it feel so realistic buying a home instead of just like buying it outright and i loved as well that i can did she flirt with her you guys see this pink bar up here right interesting sunny interesting i forgot to change her sexuality but i am gonna change it because she is asexual but they have pink bar anyway we're gonna go to uh i think the rest of the houses are in strangerville so let's head over to strangerville and check out the houses that are on the list all right we're at house two so yeah we're gonna go knock on the door it's in here in oasis or not oasis springs strangerville and i like that this is like in the middle of nowhere i feel like that's sunny's dream is to live in the middle of nowhere with no one around her like she will love that with her family there seems to be some room in the back for her rocket ship like right here we'll put her rocket ship this definitely seems like a much older build and it's a two-story home so yeah i don't know how many rooms are up here? Let's check it out. It looks like it's three bedrooms. And this bedroom has like a little on. It can be an ensuite. We can make this like an ensuite. Oh no, it has its own ensuite. So this will be her room. And it already has the yellow in it. Let's go up here and like appraise the sinks, the plumbing in here. This can be like little Grayley's room with the nice little balcony that's cute. Or back here will be Grayley's room. Either way, there's two separate rooms for the kids. But if we adopt another kid, I don't know. It's definitely smaller than the other home, but I like it. I like that it looks so old. And I like that it's in the middle of nowhere. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, it seems to have washing and drying here as well. The other house didn't have that. But definitely smaller of a home. Definitely more cozy, which I love. I feel like back here, we can add another room like this can end up being a room it's not a room it, well it is it's like an office area but this can end up being another bedroom if need it to be we will literally take out everything and remodel this but i feel like this fits sunny style more if we're thinking about like what her current home looks like the other home seemed kind of too new but let's go down and let's ask 
Carly about the value of this home. So far, both of the houses, too, have a pool in the backyard, which I think is cool because Grey Gen is supposed to be athletic, so maybe they like to swim a lot. This house is way cheaper. Oh, my goodness. The house is only $37,559, and it would be the same if it's unfurnished. So we can get it furnished or unfurnished, and if we get it furnished, I probably end up selling everything, and then we'll, like, make money that way so yeah and then the neighborhood factors it's i think it's cheaper because people are like unemployed here and there's also like it's strangerville so like people don't like want to live here and she would have to move worlds if we go to this house but i'll still ask her to add it to the short list it's definitely much cheaper than the other house but let's add this house to the short list and then we're gonna go to the next one i think we ended up choosing four so this is house two and then we'll head over to house three. All right, here we are at house three, another old Victorian style home. There are neighbors with this house, but they, they look distant and like sped or spread out. Oh, this house looks more new than the other house. Definitely brighter. I like this house though. I love a Victorian. If you're new here, I don't know, but I love a Victorian. Something about Victorians, mm, we get along so well. But it's a Victorian style home, kind of like the last one. There seems to be an office when you enter. And yeah, it's not as like open as I would like it, but it's still like more open than the last house we just went to. Is there a basement? There is a basement in this one. Oh my goodness. It's the like person that owns the home. So we would like buy it from someone. But they have a whole basement down here, which I love. I love that. And like a nice little TV down here and laundry. Okay, let's look at the bedroom situation. And in the bedrooms, let me have her actually appraise items up here. So we're just not here the whole time because we have to like appraise things. But it seems to be three bedrooms up here. No, four. Is this a room? I don't even know. This is like a sitting room. Oh, this is cool. It's like a sitting area back here onto like a porch and it's almost the twins birthday so they will age up off camera and then there's a room over here in another room here and then this would be sunny's room and it does have an ensuite okay cool so there is a bathroom connected to that room and then there's a bathroom for the twins and the rooms are big enough that we can fit multiple kids in okay i like it and there's even a bathroom down here and if anything we can turn this office into another room and we have the basement and the kitchen is huge. Yeah, I really like this home. It seems like there's enough room back here for the rocket ship, maybe. That's the only thing. There's no pool in this house and the backyard doesn't seem too big. So I don't know where we're going to fit the rocket ship, but this is house three. I really like it. I think it's a big home. I like the Victorian style. I like that we're not too close to neighbors. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's haunted though. There's a ghost. Oh, and it is Strangerville, so we will have to deal with Strangerville people, but we will have to deal with Strangerville people no matter the house if we choose a house in Strangerville. So yeah, I like that it has a basement as well. But once again, you guys get to choose the house. Let me... Is she cooking in these people's house? She has like no behavior. Where is the realtor? Did the realtor leave us? Carly, where did you go? Oh, she's in the basement. I was like, where did she go? Okay, let's ask her about the value of this home. I can't believe like she's just like shopping for a house already. I feel like she was just a teen. But she's honestly going to be an adult probably next episode, which is crazy to think about. But can you stop playing this, Carly, and tell us how much this home is worth? Oh my goodness. This home will be so expensive if we buy it furnished. We cannot buy this home furnished. We'll have to buy it unfurnished because it's only 65000 unfurnished. I think I have settled on the fact that we will be buying um, we will be buying furniture ourselves. So any house we buy will be unfurnished and we'll probably only take out a $100,000 loan. So keep that in mind when you're choosing the houses because we'll need the remaining money to furnish the house. But I had the calendar open because I wanted to see when her birthday is. So we still have a week until her birthday. And it's technically the twins' birthday right now because it is midnight. I mean, would you guys really be mad at me if I went home and aged up the twins? Oh my goodness, they're flirting. I have to fix that for Sunny. Let's 
add house to shortlist and then we'll move on to the last and final home okay now we're going to add this to our house or add this to our list and then we're going to continue to the final home of the house tours and see if you guys don't like any of the houses so house one two three or four we may open up the search to more worlds because we're only looking in two worlds right now and it's just because what i think sunny's personality personality is like but yeah we can still decide if we're gonna stay in oasis spring or strangerville anyway let's head to the fourth home all right we're at the fourth and final house it looks like there's a hill to go up this house which i think is so cute and it's right across from the last house we were just at so it's the same neighborhood but i've never lived on a hill house in the sims well never like on camera lived in a hill house in the sims it looks smaller and it definitely doesn't look like we have anywhere to put the rocket and there is a urn right out the s outside of it so that's gonna be great but maybe we can no i don't see anywhere for the rocket to go so let's keep that in mind but this is the house it looks way tiny oh my goodness it's definitely smaller than the last houses we looked at but it's definitely much more tiny I, is it only two bedrooms i thought it was three because i see two bedrooms up here is there one on the first floor that i don't see another one so the twins would have to share a room but we're gonna still ask her the value of it it's so awkward when people the people you're buying the house from are there but still all right, the house is valued at 170,000 furnished, but 69,000 unfurnished. And I think that's the last one. I don't think we're gonna be asked to go to another one if we add this one to the short list. It looks like we're all done with these home tours, Sunny Dawn. Let's go home now and continue later with the negotiation process for the houses you selected on the short list. So it seems like we still have to wait for negotiations to go through and maybe even some of the houses that we want to get can't get so we have to keep that in mind all right we're back home and these are all the houses we can start a negotiation on reminder i'm going to remind you of what the houses are before we end the episode off but the oasis springs home was the four bedroom two bathroom like the mid-century modern house it's the only one still in oasis springs so we wouldn't have to move worlds but yeah it's the one that is not the most expensive but i think it is the most expensive furnished or second most expensive furnished but all of the houses will buy unfurnished so i think that's fine so we have that house we also have the electric arts new house which is only thirty seven thousand. it's three bedrooms three baths it's the one that is in um strangerville it's the first house in strangerville we saw the one that had like more of the brown to it was the older home and then we also have the other house in strangerville which is the second one which was the larger home it was probably the largest out of all four homes that we saw it was the house that had the basement and had a lot of like blue and white and then we have the tiny hilltop victorian which was the last house we saw which was two bedrooms and three baths. And yeah, all of the prices are here. So let me know in the comments which one you want. I might do a poll maybe a day after this episode goes up. We're asking you all which house should we get? House one, two, three, or four. And then you can vote on it just because I wanna I wanna have your input on the house that we get. But we're gonna end the episode off here because I don't wanna age the twins up yet. I just realized we we're in this small house with twin and if I age them up now they're gonna be toddlers in this small house so I would like all of you to know, let me know where we're gonna move so Grayson and Grayley can age up in like a house and have a like room for them so yeah but I had so much fun this episode I'm still having fun with not so Barry and I'm so excited now that Grey Jen is here and i can't wait i think once we get the new house we get a promotion and we start like getting into the swing of things maybe when grayley and grayson are children we'll do an adoption or even when they're toddlers like later into their toddlerhood we'll look into adopting a new baby but yeah i had so much fun this episode i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye now <laughs>